so I didn't get over here quick enough to film it. We just had a brand new calf. Just popped out not more than 30 seconds ago. I don't want to agitate the mom too much. I'm just going to let her do her job and look like the calf's doing good. He's already trying to get up. It's always pretty impressive. He's not more than a few minutes old and he's already trying to stand up. That's pretty amazing. Just a little over 10 minutes that calf was standing up and already trying to nurse. I felt like mom was getting kind of agitated with me hanging around there so I just left and I'll go back out there in a couple hours and my pick up and check on him and see how he's doing and give him his vaccines. seems pretty curious and what's going on around here. So for those of you that might have not have seen some of my previous videos and are wondering what I just gave that newborn calf. So the, the vaccine that I give it in its nostrils is called Enforce 3. It's a vaccine to help prevent pneumonia. And then the vaccine that I shot down the back of her throat is a scour guard. So that of course is to help prevent the scours, especially this time of year, how muddy and sloppy things are getting. That's one that I feel like is very important just because of the the possibility of them getting scours and I sure think it helps prevent that. So then I just put an iodine solution on her navel and that was about it. Then I just used one of those burlap sacks to try to dry her off a bit more before it got too cold the night because it's supposed to get down to about 10-15 degrees is what it's calling for. I don't have to work tomorrow so when we go out there to feed Pepper or Bottle we'll go check on that newborn calf and see how she's doing. So for tonight I feel like that calf's doing pretty good. Seemed like she had quite a bit of energy and makes me assume that she just nursed and got some of that colostrum in her. I feel like the best thing we can do now for her is just leave her alone with the mom and let her get more of that colostrum in her and get her mothered up a bit more. Well, good morning, everyone. It's another beautiful end of April day for us. So in this video, I thought it'd be kind of fun to follow our new calf that we just got and kind of show the stages that she goes through these first 72 hours of life. Because they say these first 72 hours of life are pretty critical for a newborn calf. They're supposed to pass through certain stages as time progresses. I'm hoping I can kind of show those stages and can compare those stages to how our calf is doing. So the very first stage that we went through was hours zero through four. And it's very important that your calf stands up within the first two hours and starts to nurse. 
those first four hours are really important because that's the best time for your calf to absorb its colostrum from the the mother and in that colostrum you got all those antibodies and things that help the calf grow and be healthy and that first part of its life is when it can absorb the most of that and so those first four hours are pretty critical and last night when we tagged that calf it was just right at the end of that four hour mark and the, from the best that i could see it looked like the calf had you know nursed and it was doing well it had plenty of energy his uh her mouth was warm so that all tells me that she'd probably gotten up and nursed and got some of that classroom in her already the stage that we're just passing through right now getting to the end of it is, is hours four through 12 and this is another important stage because after 12 hours that calf will just absorb less and less of that those antibodies from the colostrum and once you hit 24 hours the calf won't be able to absorb any of those antibodies from the colostrum so this next little stage here is important to make sure it's getting colostrum it's getting all those antibodies and all the things it needs from this mother's milk right at this point because they say if that calf doesn't absorb enough colostrum in the first 12 hours it's more likely that it's going to you know catch scours or have uh, respiratory problems so it's really important that we get plenty of colostrum into him and make sure he's doing all right. So we'll walk out there and give Pepper her bottle and check on her calf and see how she's doing. Hey Pepper. So I'm sure that's our new calf all the way over there. I'll start walking over there towards her and see how the mother acts. If she acts real mean and honor, I'll go grab my pickup and just come out here in that and check on her. Kiffy. So I just checked her mouth and I do that because that tells me a lot of things. So her mouth is warm, that means she's nursing. Because if her mouth is cold, you'd know that she's not nursing, but since her mouth is warm and she seems pretty alert, I can assume that she's getting that colostrum and getting everything she needs from the mom. Kind of a crappy first 24 hours of life though being born into this garbage. What I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna pick her up. I'm gonna probably pack her over into our calf shelter there. At least get her out of this wind and the snow and get her on a nice soft bed of straw. As long as the mom lets me. And I wanna make sure the mom follows me so she knows where the calf's at, you know? So I don't wanna take her over there and have the mom lose it. Then she's wandering around here all morning looking for it. So I just want the mom to watch the calf go into here. It's okay, mama. It's okay. So I'm hoping she'll just stay in here for, you know, an hour or two, kind of get dried back off. So leave her alone there for a bit and maybe Pepper can babysit her. And like I said, the mom knows she's in here. I'll just keep coming out here throughout the day, especially if it's going to be like this all day. I want to keep an eye on her. Good job, Pepper. Make sure she stays in there. So I just came out here to feed Pepper before I come feed cows and check on this new calf. Okay, she's doing pretty good, though. Her head's up. She looks alert. Ears are perky. I'd say she's doing good. I swear cows and calves just have death witches. Look at this. Do you think they're mountain goats or something? Walk on that ledge like that. Hey, hey, get off of there. So it's the morning of the second day for this calf. She's about 40 hours old. And here she is over here. And they say between 24 hours and 48 hours, your calf should be able to follow the mom pretty easily, be able to keep up with her. There they go. Seems like she's falling or just fine. So at this stage, since she's older than 24 hours, her ability to absorb that uh, those antibodies from the colostrum is pretty much gone. So you hope that she's gotten enough colostrum and antibodies in her to keep her healthy as she grows. And from the way she's acting and moving around, I'd say she's got that colostrum in her and she's off to a good start. So our newborn calf's been alive for just under 72 hours. They're saying in this stage of life, she should be spunky and kind of hard to catch. So let's see how she's doing compared to that. So here's our new calf here. Hey, mama. How's your baby doing? Hey, mama. I'll keep you. So 
Seems like she's doing great. Keeping right up with her mom. So I'd say she's off to a good start. We've had two new calves since she was born three days ago. Got this calf right here that that mom's licking on there. He's up and going and seems like he's doing good. I haven't tagged or done nothing with it yet. I'll get to him when I come out here and feed in a few minutes. So those, that's a pretty basic and generalized timeline. And I understand every calf seems to be different. For example, this calf right here behind me, I just grabbed him today and he's not more than 10 hours old. And I could barely catch him. You know, so some of them get up and get going real quick and start running around and others take, you know, a few days. But like I said, that's just kind of a general guideline on you know the stages as they age here's his mom here like i said i had a hard time catching this one just to throw him up here in this manure spreader so i could doctor him and tag him so like i was saying he's not more than 10 hours old he's moving along like that and that one there's a couple months old so hope you guys found that video interesting thanks for watching have a good day